8.16 now this morning, we're taking a look at a local artist who designs surfboards based on Hawaiian culture. Yeah, to tell us more about his vision and future projects, Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from the Surfboard Factory in Kapolei. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Ross and Kelly. That's right. We're here at the Surfboard Factory Hawaii, and I'm joined by Edward, Eduardo Bolioli, who is a local artist and who has amazing work to show you guys. Good morning, Eduardo. Good morning. Thank you so much for just waking up with us and just showing us your passion. I'm really excited to get into this right here. Thank you. I mean, I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Absolutely. So tell me first, how was 2019 for you? Wow, awesome. Yeah, why is that? <laughs> Uh, everything. Well, first, I'm alive, so that's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, every day, uh, it's, it's a blessing. But mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, so many things happened this year. You know, the, 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 the show at Four Seasons with all the installation with the surfboards, uh, uh, many articles on the press and uh, traveling the clothing line in Europe. You know, it's, uh, well, uh, Wyland Gallery, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's been really great. You know, it's... Uh, it's growing. <laughs> Absolutely. That's a, that's a great thing to hear. I'm glad you had a great 2019. But how long have you been working on surfboards and these types of designs? Uh, well, uh, I've been working on surfboards uh, ever since I came to Hawaii. You know, I, I, I came here just to paint surfboards. I quit school to paint surfboards. Uh, and uh, when did you come to Hawaii again? 1985. 1985. The, the first time. Then uh, I, I went away uh, after it became the absolute Hawaii artist uh, they asked me to go to Uruguay to do the absolute Uruguay campaign and I sort of got stuck there for 20 years so came back here five years ago and started my art career all over again and uh, painting boards and no. So <laughs> it's, it's a beautiful response, and you know, it fits so perfectly being here in Hawaii. And we're taking a look at one of your orders right now. I mean, each of your orders are custom made, and they're just individually inspired by, is it your experiences or something that the client is requesting? Where do you come up with your designs? Uh, I have no idea. Where to come <laughs> no, actually, everything's, I, I call my, my work uh, Hawaii surf art or yeah. surf art. Hawaiian surf art mm -hmm. and that's basically because of everything I do it's inspired and on this on this island you know mm -hmm. it's like uh, I get my inspiration for everything around me so like every little line everything I, I, I put on it mm -hmm. it has to do with this place uh, this one's for instance about um, turtles you know it's like as you can see and uh, I was painting it at uh, Four Seasons and uh, this uh, couple of um, newlyweds you know, on their honeymoon they're asking me, oh, can we buy a surfboard? And, blah, blah, and they looked at the whole display there. I'm going, sure. And then they looked at this and they go, can we buy this one? And I'm going, yeah, it's not finished. It's going to take uh, at least a few weeks until, you know, it's glass polished. And uh, so I let them do a few lines and um, like a few duds on it. And uh, it's uh, and we're going to call it Honeymoon. This is the name of that board? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, it just kind of happens. But I, I know as you said that there's still a lot more work to be done with this board. Not only the designs on the sea turtles, but you said something about polishing or glazing. Oh, would you say? Yeah, well, yeah, we have to put... Uh, this is foam. Oh, this it is might, foam right here? It's, well, the thing is, like, I treat the, the surfboard. I, I stumble into this looking for a new way to paint surfboards. Okay. Did the same thing in 87, mm -hmm. and I discover these markers, mm -hmm. and now it's a worldwide trend, you know, painting on surfboards with markers. But I wanted to, ha to be able to draw be before we, we were airbrushing boards. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, kids uh, use these markers to uh to paint on the finish boards mm. but uh the problem is like uh the finish board is cool but the finishing is not that great mm. so i started looking for new ways to really improve uh the board and how it make it more professional make it more of a finished product mm -hmm. and i stumbled in, into this it took me probably a year and a half here mm -hmm. trying to develop a way that i could paint on the shape blank mm -hmm. with the markers mm -hmm. so I could still have the control to draw on it. Yeah. And it's a it's a secret how I do it, but uh, yeah. I mean, you can you're touch it. You're onto something. Yeah. yeah, you're definitely onto something. So <laughs> you're gonna be working on this board until the next time we see you, which is the second half of Take Two. So you don't wanna go anywhere. We still got Eduardo still hanging out with us here at the Surfboard Factory in Hawaii. But until then, reporting from the location, Dallas Navarro, sing back to you, Christine Ross in the studio.
The artwork is so beautiful that sometimes I don't, wouldn't want to surf on the surfboard. You would want to like hang it up as like a piece of art. Right? It is so beautiful. But really interesting to hear the whole background. Very yeah. cool. All right. Well, coming up next on Take Two, we have just two days left of 2019. So let's talk about how you'll be spending.